This week on Byron to Bordeaux, Deanne continues with the painting of the kitchen cabinets and later we explore more of our beautiful regions of the Gironde and discover one of the smallest medieval villages in France. So I'm outside in the beautiful sunshine and it's painting day today. I have a number of cabinets to paint. We're doing section by section of the kitchen. Uh, decided to take it outside. It's absolutely glorious. Uh, it's kind of moving into spring right now in France and the birds are out, the flowers are out. It's just absolutely glorious. So I'm doing some painting outside. It's time to relax. Just take your time. Uh, <laughs> and I just, I think it's really enjoying painting. Some people really don't like it, but I am in my element if I'm painting, especially something as simple as just some kitchen cabinets. It's very easy, very rewarding when you see the end, end product. It's really nice. And what a beautiful day. I'd rather be outside on a day like today then I don't know if you can hear in the background, um, Tom and uh, Anne are upstairs sanding the outdoor shutters. I think I'd rather be here, painting, fresh air. It's fabulous. Okay, so I'm gonna do two coats of these once I find all the bits that I've missed. But it's a really good paint. It's this, um, this 3v3. Three it's really good. I did a lot of research on paint. Some of the paint over here is um, in France is not the best quality. I mean, it's cheaper, but you end up paying twice as much because, you know, this is better value for money. I mean, this is more expensive paint, but the cheaper ones just, you end up painting so many different coats on there, a lot more coats. So this is a much better product. Um, and um, I love the finish. It looks really nice, even just for one coat, it looks, looks quite good. Very pleased. So I'll actually put this away and let it dry completely. And then um, do a little rough sand. Then I'll do a little rough sand and then give it another coat. And um, back into the kitchen it goes. So yes, just a bit of a rejuvenation of the kitchen, not a full renovation. There's just too much planning to do. It's a really nice big space. You know, I want to incorporate some of the old features. There's an old fireplace in there as well. So I want to see how the planning goes with that before I start really designing the kitchen. So in the meantime, we have some pleasant olive green cupboards. Okay, last one for today. I'm only doing just a small amount at a time. I think, you know, completely taking a kitchen apart is really disrupting when you've got workaways and you want to eat food and prepare meals. So we're just doing section at a time, uh, paint them, put them back and then do another section. It's time consuming, but I, I'd rather do that than completely dismantle the whole kitchen and work from there. So last one, um, and then I've got to do another coat on all of them.
Okay, there's my first coat. I will leave those to dry. And then a light sand and then second coat. They already look very nice, very happy. I did pre-sand all the cupboards before I started painting. Our charming neighbour and dear friend Elizabeth proposed a delightful excursion to the picturesque village of Lariol. Enthralled by the exquisite wrought iron structures dotting the street's landscape, I found myself captivated by the idea of integrating them into her own home to go and cultivate a climbing rose garden. France never ceases to amaze me with its myriad of treasures. Each village has its own distinct charm. Those roses.
You can see it just flying by. Like snow. Look at that. It's amazing. Look. It's like fluff. It's like wool. Allergy sufferers would not like this. So this is the tree it comes off. The fifth tree. This is not snow. 